Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Maggie, for that warm introduction. Good afternoon, ladies. My name is Precious Williams, as Maggie just said, and I'm the proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. And today I'm going to be presenting to you Pitch Please, Pitching with Confidence. And so I love for this to be something that you really learn something from. This is no fluff, no BS. So let's get started. So what time is it? We know we're in the age of the coronavirus, COVID-19, and this is causing a lot of us to have to pivot, to have to change. It's time to shake things up. That's what this is giving us an opportunity to do, to really, really shake things up. And I know people are scared, and I know that they're frustrated, but this also gives you an opportunity to do something totally different from what you've been doing before. So it's time to take action. And it's time, no more business as usual. And I hope that you all can hear me. I'm hearing a little feedback, uh, but I hope that you all can hear me. So what time is it? Like Moore's Day in the time, what time is it? We're going to change some things today. So I, you know, you're going to say, you can save your questions for the end, but make sure whatever questions you have for me, I will answer them. And I want to make sure that I teach you all that I have to teach you today with Pitch Please, Pitching with Confidence. So this is a quote I absolutely love. How do you win a no-win situation? You rewrite the rules. So what do I mean by that? For a lot of you, you've never heard of me, don't know, you may not know what elevator pitching is, media pitching, investor pitching, and all of that is. So let me give you a story about how I rewrote the rules way back in the day. So when I started my first company, which was Curvy Girls Lingerie, the ultimate shopping experience for full-figure divas and plus-size fashionistas. I started it in 2011. This is before Lizzo, before Ashley Graham was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I was a 327-pound black woman. I was a former attorney, quit every job I ever had because I really wanted to start this company. I was dating a very famous Hollywood actor who, when I told him, you make me feel so incredible. I never knew that a woman my size, at a size 28, that I could ever feel something. I never thought that a man of your caliber would ever give me the time of day. And I want every woman who is of a certain size to feel a certain type of way. But when you can't find lingerie in your size and you and, and big box stores are making you feel like you don't matter and you don't exist, I wanted to create sexy, stylish, and fashion forward lingerie for women who were above a size 14. What do you think most people told me? You're too fat, you're too black, you don't have an Ivy League degree, no one's ever going to put you on TV, no one's going to invest in your company, you'll never get certain people to ever look at you, who are you? And I knew deep down that, the, the, that this quote was real. So when I told my friends that I was going to be on national television, they said, it'll never happen, never happen, you're too fat, you're too, you're too big. I said, it's going to happen because I am too big, it's going to happen because I'm different. So with negative $400 in my bank account, yes, I had negative $400. I went to the Small Business Awards thrown by Cranes every year. I knew that MSNBC and CNBC were going to be, you know, the media sponsors, part of the media sponsors. And I didn't know how I was going to talk to them. I didn't know what I was going to say. But I knew that I had to be in that space. So I put the $300 on a credit card and I went with my best Calvin Klein dress did not know what I was going to say, but I knew I was supposed to be there. I walked into the room. I saw the CNBC producers. I saw the MSNBC producers. And I had the conversation with God and walked up to the producers at MSNBC. Did not know what I was going to say. And they were laughing. And then they asked me who I was. And I said, hi, I'm Precious Williams. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Curvy Girls Long Spray with the ultimate shopping experience for full figure divas and plus size fashionistas. And they looked at me and laughed. And when they laughed at me, I felt embarrassed. But they said, no, you are the first person to walk up to us and actually pitch us. Have you heard of our show Elevator Pitch? Now, ladies, when you're in these moments, act as if. You're not faking, but you're acting as if you had heard, you've been a part of it. And I said, yes, I've heard of it. No, I hadn't. And then they said, we're going to bring the host of the show on. We want her to hear you. My bladder got so full. So she's coming, J.J. Ramberg. But then she got called on stage to get an award. So then they brought me her booking producer who asked me to give an elevator pitch. Today, I'm known as the hashtag killer pitch master, a 13-time national elevator pitch champion. Back then, I was none of that. 
So she asked me for my elevator pitch and I didn't, didn't know what to say, but I, I, I was like, God help me. So I just went in halfway through. She said, stop, you can be on the show. And what she couldn't tell is I had on my glasses and I had tears in my eyes because I couldn't believe that something like this was really happening. I talked myself on the national television where I would be pitching for $500,000 and I had negative $400 in my bank account. So when I tell you, how do you win a no-win situation? You rewrite the rules. If I gave just a regular pitch on Precious Williams, da, 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 just on some BS, they never would have let me on television. But I didn't say plus-size women. I said full-figure divas and plus-size fashionistas. And I've talked about the over 40 million women size 14 or larger, just like me in the United States. And we all want pretty underwear. It's just too bad that most mainstream lingerie companies aren't creating products for women my size. So that's why I created Curvy Girls Lingerie. And we celebrate the beauty of curvy women every day. So when I tell you, rewrite the rules, there are going to be a lot of people who tell you what you can't do right now. And I'm here to tell you, you can. So trust your gut. And what I'm going to teach you today about pitching, I want you to take it for life. You win a no-win situation, you rewrite the rules. I wasn't too fat to be on television. I wasn't too black. No, I don't have an Ivy League degree, but I do have a law degree. Yes, I'm an award-winning attorney. None of that mattered. When the time came, I rewrote the rules of what success looks like. This is my contact information. Just in case I say anything that inspires you today and you want to you know, you retweet it or put it on social media, Here's my contact information. And again, world-class master communicator. Some of my clients today include Microsoft, Google, LinkedIn. I train sales teams. I speak at women's conferences, women's summits. I, am a, I have written the number one bestseller, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for women entrepreneurs and speakers only. I started off my career on MSNBC. And it was, and my pitch was named one of the top five in the history of the show. Not bad for someone who didn't even know how to pitch when they started. Another fun thing to know about me is I am a poet and I love celebrating women. And I work with women entrepreneurs, women speakers, women in nonprofits, C-suite executives. I do this for women because as a young girl, I was always told I would never make it. And I was too stupid and too dumb. And to be in, in New York City, living my dreams, having been on Shark Tank, CNN and Forbes magazine, the things that people told a little black girl from St. Louis would never have. This is why I do what I do to show women you don't have to be skinny. You don't have to be tall. You don't have to be any of those sort of things. You have to be the best representation of who you are. And you'll be amazed how transparency and authenticity will get you very, very far. This is my book, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches, for women entrepreneurs and speakers only. What is Perfect Pitches by Precious? Perfect Pitches by Precious is a consulting agency that teaches women entrepreneurs, speakers, executives, sales teams, how to use the, po the power of hashtag rockstar confidence to walk into any situation. If you want media attention, if you want investor dollars, if you want, uh, if you want to stand out at, in your networking groups and actually have people call you back after they get your business card, and if you want paid speaking engagements, even today, even if it's virtual, that is still possible. And that's what I teach with Perfect Pitches by Precious. And so pitch, please. If y'all ready, let me know. Let's get ready. So I want to talk about confidence before we even get into pitch, please. The three ways I want you to be able to build confidence is you have to truly see yourself where you're supposed to be. And I always tell people, live in your vision, not your reality. The reality of the situation is people are losing their jobs. The coronavirus is everywhere. People are dying. The vision is you are going to be a successful entrepreneur. You're going to be a successful uh, C-suite executive. You are going to blow the roof off. You're going to tear the roof off of the glass ceiling. And that's where your mind should be. Living in your vision and not your reality. So visualize yourself as you want to be. And hold that image firm no matter what happens. I always knew I was supposed to be on television. I always knew that I was going to get investor dollars. And I always knew that my voice and my speaking ability would take me further than the hood of St. Louis would ever let me go. 
I want you to affirm yourself no matter what, no matter who tells you you can't do it today, no matter how many people get on social media and throw products and, and services your way, there's still room for you. I promise you there's still room for you. Your nonprofit can still get donors. You can have what you want now. I promise you that. And you have to do one thing that scares you every day. Later on today, I am filming four episodes of a television show. I am completely freaked out because I can't go to the studio. They have to film it here. What freaks me out? I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And this is the thing that scares me today is I'm going to film four episodes. So it can happen even in the coronavirus and the COVID-19. So pitch, please, the basics. Everyone knows this about a basic pitch. You all all been a pit you've all been to elevate you you've all been to networking um networking events you've all a part of networking groups and so i want you to understand the basics before we go into advanced you want to talk about who you are what you do your ideal clients how you're different what happens next and an attention grabbing hook we all know this. This is what you can get on Google. This is why when you're in, you're in uh, at your networking events, you're sitting there listening to people and they all start to sound the same because they learn the basics or they think that they're saying something witty and funny and it's not. So I want you to think about this. If I walked up to you and said, hi, I'm Precious Williams. My company is Perfect Pitches by Precious. I teach the art and science of the killer elevator pitch, media pitch, investor pitch, and speaker pitch. I'm different because not only am I a 13-time national elevator pitch champion who's appeared on Shark Tank and a lot of different top television shows and movies around the world, one of the ways in working with me that makes me different is I've been on the other side. I've actually gotten the dollars. I've actually been on television. I've actually done a lot of amazing things through the art of pitching. And if you want to slay all competition, you'll work with me. My name is Precious Williams. They're my company. It's Perfect Pitches by Precious. Thank you. That's okay. That's cool. It is what it is. Most people are going to tell you they're on Shark Tank, so that may stick out. But let me tell you something that I've started doing to be different. Ladies, Raise your hands if you want to be a bad bitch with a power pitch. When I tell you, when most women hear that, first they're stunned that I had the audacity to say that. Then they start to raise their hands because they're listening. I didn't start off like most people start off. I didn't say what most people will say. When you say a bad bitch with a power pitch, are there going to be some women who are offended? Yeah. Yeah but they're probably not my audience. You have to speak to your audience. There are women who are unapologetic right now. There are women who need to know that there's someone who has hope and inspiration, someone who can take you from where you are right now to where you wanna be. That's my audience. You wanna interrupt patterns. If you sound like everybody else, you'll be treated like everybody else. What I want each and every one of you women to know is that you're extraordinary extraordinary so i want you to start acting like it you don't enter into networking events you don't start your speaking in, in engagements you don't do things the average random ordinary way that's for average people if you want to pitch with confidence and you want to pitch please pitch with confidence i want you to go in there and rock them i want you to ask them a question I want you to throw them off their game because then they'll start to pay attention to you because you're not like everybody else. So many of you women might be coaches. So many of you might be consultants. So many of you might be speakers. But you're in an industry that seems like it's overcrowded. So what have you done to set yourself apart? And it's not just a nice tagline. What are you doing to set yourself apart on social media? What are you doing that really shows that you are different? different and that the results that you give are different from what anybody else can give them. So let's talk about pitch, please. Tip number one, I want you to know your purpose. What, what are you pitching in the first place? Why are you doing it? If the purpose of you pitching is to get, you know, the media attention and the investor dollars, that's great. Why? What do you need it for? Do you need more clients? 
Do you need uh, more eyeballs on your webinars? Do you need certain people to take notice of you? Do you want the heavy hitters to take notice of you on LinkedIn? What are you doing to get that? What is your overall goal? If you don't know what your overall goal is, and it's just something like, oh, I just want people to pay me attention, that doesn't work. I want you to get real specific about what you need. What is the purpose of what you're doing? How many donors do you need? How many eyeballs do you need on, on your webinar? How do you attract, all of this goes into what is your overall goal? Because when you start with that, you'll begin with the end in mind. When you start asking for speaking engagements, you start reaching out to your network and you start pitching yourself. What do you want? What stages do you want to be on? What type of people do you want in the audience? Who are you really speaking to? I want you to work backwards from there. You all are savvy ladies. I wanted to be a part of this particular webinar because I think that pitching is, is, is one of those skills that most people do not pay enough attention to. If you can pitch, you can get yourself out of poverty. You can go from zero clients to 300 clients. You can get the New York Times to seek you out in Forbes magazine. You can get your book to be a number one bestseller. But you have to know the purpose. Because the purpose will drive what it is you're doing. Know your purpose. Tip number two, focus. What does your audience need to hear versus what do they want to hear? So many coaches and consultants will say what their coach and consultant has said to them without synthesizing it into something that makes it theirs. People right now are frightened. People right now don't know what to do. They need a clear leader. They need someone who's going to give them the results they actually need and can quantify that. They don't need to just hear, you can do it, yah, rah, rah. That's, that's what some people want to hear. What they need to hear is a step-by-step -step process. What they need to hear is that you went from the bottom to the top. No matter who told you you couldn't do it. That you created a lane that didn't exist before you. You are savvy ladies. There's a reason why you're called savvy ladies. What do they need to hear right now? Do they need to hear hope and inspiration? Do they need to hear what's possible even in a pandemic? Are you giving it to them? Are you providing them with the right content? Or are you doing what you've been doing before the pandemic? Give them what they need to hear right now because you're going to cut through the clutter of everybody just throwing products, selling things. Cut through all of that by being very clear. This is what you need right now. I was once where you were. I can help you. This is what I did for such and such. This is what I can do for you. What do they need to hear versus what do they want to hear? A lot of people want to listen to music and just jam all hours. That's not going to put money in your pockets. That's not going to help you take care of your family. What do they need to hear? You. Embrace the difference. Number three, know and study your audience. So many people right now are looking for the low-hanging fruit. Who will just buy? Who will just buy? The people who are the low-hanging fruit right now can't buy from you. So this is where you get really, really crystal clear on who do you really want to serve. People talk about it as a target market, your ideal customer. There might be someone you're forgetting about because you've never approached them. Let me give you an example. Two weeks ago, I was on a YouTube, a live YouTube channel with a man who is in the urban market. Now, you guys know I pitch for a living, which means that I'm on stages around the world. I'm an international professional speaker, a serial entrepreneur, and the killer pitch master. When this particular man reached out to me, he said, I know we're not normally what you go for. He said, but we love what you're doing. Would you come and be on our show? Because we have a different market you've never talked to. When I went on that show in Harlem, and it was broadcast to thousands of people, my book sales went up and people started calling, can you speak at my event? Can you do the, can you virtually train? 
pay attention to who you haven't been paying attention to before. So know the demographics, the psychographics, you know, who do you want to speak to? Gender, finance level, education. Are you advanced? Are you intermediate? Are you beginner? Can you create products for all of those? Or services? Who are you focused on? And what makes them want to listen to you today? Going back to your purpose, why should they want to hear you? What are you saying that's different from everybody else? Really think about that, y'all. Know and study your audience. In the time that you're sitting at home, make use of this time. Yes, there's going to be 50 million, 100 emails coming to you about buy this, buy that. Take this time to get really crystal clear. Because when you pitch, boom, boom, you're going to be different. You're not throwing something out there just to see if it can stick. You're very serious about what you're doing. And people can feel it. And they can see the difference. Pay attention, know and study your audience. Number four, passion changes everything. When you are pitching, I want you to pitch with all your passion. I love to speak. I love to teach and train. I love to host pitch competitions. When the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, y'all may not watch those shows and I don't either, but when their producers reached out to me to host a pitch competition, think about that. Why would producers in Atlanta have heard of Precious Williams in New York? Because I am in my zone of genius. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not a dime a dozen. I've created a niche and I'm passionate about what I do. So show your passion for what it is that you do. I don't care if you have an MLM, network marketing, direct sales. You can really show that you're passionate about what it is that you do. Some of you are some of the greatest speakers that some people have never heard of. Because you're in an industry that is dominated by certain people. Create a new lane for yourself. And be very deliberate. Passion is contagious. And people will remember you long after the conversation is over. Purpose fuels passion. Are you in your purpose? If you've been laid off or if you starting your company or you've been in your company, find that passion again. Because there are people who need you right now. And tip number five, have a powerful call to action. Make sure it is clear that you instruct your audience of what you want them to do immediately after you do what you do. If you want them to sign up here, say it. If you want them to schedule a call, say it. If you want them to do something in particular, please be clear with them about it. Be clear because a confused mind will never buy. If you want them to buy from your website, if you want them to go to your website and check out this, this, that, and the other, check out this particular product or something like that, make it easy for them. Put it in your presentation. Let them know what you need them to do. Because as soon as you direct them, they can go. So schedule the call. Sign up here. Da, da, da. And finally, I really want you all to hear this. Never be afraid to make the big ask. Ask for what you want. We all know that in sales, a lot of us get scared to ask for the sale or to take the conversation to the next level. Ask for what you want and even more. Some of you are wondering if you're ever going to you know, speak in the next few months. You can right now. You could be pitching yourself to different organizations. You could offer to you could offer to speak for free or for a discounted rate showcasing that what you do is different from what other people are doing right now. Some people, again, are looking for hope and inspiration and concrete steps on how to pull themselves out of the muck and the mire of the coronavirus. Some people are looking for the type of women who love themselves and are not allowing this to dictate what's happening in their internal. Are you speaking to them? Make the big ask. If you want to speak on still on stages a year from now, make the ask now. If you want people to buy your book, make the ask. Give them a, fle a fever for the flavor of your book. 
sit down and maybe have a five minute reading. Tell them why you wrote the book in the first place. If you have a consulting company, show them not only why you're different, but why others have worked with you before and what you're willing to do to give them something different. Make the big ask. And so I don't know, uh, Maggie, I don't know if I can hear people or not, but I didn't know if anyone wanted to test themselves. I, I can do that too, or I can move on. Um, we can use, maybe we can start with the chat and I'll monitor it and see if we get some responses there. Okay, um, and, and then I'll move on because we're almost done. Okay, great. Okay, all right. Thanks. And so in summary, I want you all to define your pitching goals. What do you want to do? And how are you going to do it differently than you have before? Yes, some of you already have pitches. They're not working right now. So if you want help with that, I can definitely be of assistance. But before all of that, what are you going to do differently this year or at this time to achieve them? What are you going to do differently? Number two, set unrealistic expectations. And when I say unrealistic, everybody's telling you you should be doing this, 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 that, and the other, da, 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 da. Be unrealistic. If you still want to be on the Today Show, if you still want to be on stage with Gary Vaynerchuk, if you still want to do certain things, don't stop believing that. Live in your vision, not your reality. The reality of the situation will have you thinking it's not possible. And I told you negative $400 in my bank account, I literally asked for $500,000 and I got it on MSNBC. So I'm telling you, wherever you are financially, it can change just like that. Because you got to live in your vision, not your reality, and set it unrealistically and put it out there. There are going to be people who are going to be watching you. Oh, she's going to fail. But what if you succeed? You've proved them wrong and proved yourself right. Be unrealistic. Keep your eyes on the goal and eyes on the prize at all the time. All the time. Who are you here to serve? And you serve them. Give them something that they're not getting anywhere else. Show them what's possible. And, you know, finally, for you ladies, if you want to know how to pitch the right way, take out your cell phone and type the word pitches, P-I-T-C-H-E-S, to 66866. I'll leave that on the screen for a minute for you. And what you'll get is a free six short, six question um, questionnaire that's going to teach you how to start pitching differently based on the qualities that that uh, come across in your quiz. So I want you all to know it's free, 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 free. It is a way to help you start learning how to pitch differently based on the characteristics that come across in, you, in, in the answers that you give in the quiz. So what I want you to do, since I'm making it clear, is type the word Pitches, P-I-T-C-H-E-S, to 66866, and you'll get a response, and I will personally send you a quiz for free. Just so you know, I've helped a lot of women win pitch competitions. This woman won $15,000 in one hour session with me. Roz, she won the first annual speaker con conference. First annual speaker conference. She won. She took the first prize in her first elevator pitch competition. And I just want you all to know that my name is Precious Williams. I am the proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. I teach the art and science of the most killer elevator pitches, media pitches, and investor pitches, and speaker pitches. And I also teach something called the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches live three-day experience. It's going to be in New York City in January of 2021. If you want more information, um, I'll have details sent to you later. But if you want more information, you can also go to my website, www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com. And my big ask is if you enjoyed this presentation today, uh, I'm seeking more uh, to speak at more women's empowerment events, conferences, and summits. I'm also a corporate trainer. So you already know I work with Microsoft, LinkedIn, and Google. I love to work with more companies and corporations. And I also love speaking at colleges and universities and really teaching our young people how to pitch their way out of any situation. 
Questions? Thanks, Precious. That was really great. Um, and I'm sure I speak for more than just myself uh, that this was really a, a, a nice a breath of fresh air on a day like today. And I'm seeing some comments in the chat box, uh, just messages of thanks okay. and how real you are. So we appreciate your presentation today. Um, I will remind everyone, if you have a question, you can use the chat box here, or you can also email info at SavvyLadies.org, I-N-F-O. And I saw that we had some questions come in during your presentation. So the first one here is, how much of your personal story can be used in your pitch? Can you maybe talk a little bit about that? I definitely can. So depending on the type of pitch that you have, like if you have 30 seconds, you really don't have all the time in the world. So I am like the queen of, I'm a 13 time national elevator pitch champion. So I've won competitions in as little as 23. I've won competition in as little, can you hear me? Hello, can you yeah. hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, because yeah. it yeah. happened on my screen. Um, I've won okay. competitions in as little as 23 seconds, and the longest elevator pitch I ever had was three minutes. So the longer you have, the more time you can. And when I say your personal story, it has to be relatable to other people. So it's not just, um, it's not just a story of something that just may have only happened to you. Like, for example, three years ago, I was homeless on the streets of New York. That is not a lie. That is not a lie. That is so real. The love of my life died. The man who inspired my first company, Curvy Girls Lingerie. Um, I went through so much. And I was afraid to start to, I was afraid to talk about it. And I didn't use it in my pitches, but when I started speaking to women at different conferences and stuff like that, I would wait to the end in my speaking engagements to address that issue. Because one of the things I found about women is that we're all struggling with something. And some women are struggling with relationships. Some women are struggling with business and stuff like that. If they know that you've been through, through something bad too and you made it through, they trust you more versus someone who has the book knowledge, someone who has the PhD. I have a JD. They want to hear more about it. When I was when I started Curvy Girls Lingerie, I didn't always talk about me dating the famous Hollywood actor dude at all. But I talked about how many women this affected and it affected so many women because most women. I'm from the Midwest, weren't thin. And every I, they couldn't go to Asian Provocateur. They couldn't go to Victoria's Secret. They couldn't go to Macy's. Well, where do they go? They didn't have a place to go or they went online. So I wanted to create something that would, would was that started with me, but it was for so many other people. I hope I answered your question. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm seeing some messages in the chat here just asking if you can explain again the texting pitches to the number. I think some people are having some issues with it. Would you mind just mentioning uh, how they can go about that again? Okay, so hold on. Let me go back to the slide. Okay, so go on your phone or, you know, what else I can do is I can just send you, I can send you all the actual quiz, like the actual link to the quiz. Would that be better, Maggie? I think that would be great. Yeah, and I can let's see if um, I'm going to just click back here. But yes, if you can send that to us, we'll be sure to send that in our follow-up email. And it looks like we're having looks like we might be having some technical difficulties. If so, oh, Precious has text the word pitches p i t c h e s to six six. 866. You can start a message, send it to 66866, text the word pitches. And for those of you who are having any uh, technical difficulties, we can send this out as a link as well. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. I apologize that we had to kind of cut it short on the Q&A portion, but thanks for joining us and we will be following up with you over email. Thanks everybody.